Hey everyone, welcome to this channel. So today I uh, will try to open the motor and see what's the problem inside. So there was a show with the motor. I was told by G-Force it was defected. And the problem was like this. The motor would uh, make a lot of noise when I'm riding the bike. Testing uh, without load, it would go up to 39. 39 kilometers. And it would not make much noises. It would be normal. So, as you can see, it works normal when it's, there's no load. But once I try to ride this bike, it will give me a lot of noise and also will not go more than 20 kilometers. So, I'm gonna open it up and see if I can open the motor and i'm not sure if i need to remove the cassette yet so i will just remove the wheel first and before doing anything with motor i will remove the battery to make sure there is no electricity in this bike okay all right so the big battery is out it's heavy seven pounds battery but it's a big battery which is good lasts for long ride it's very simple to remove it with a key so I'm gonna now to remove the wheel and try to open the motor, okay? Okay. So I'll try to unscrew all the screws and see if it allow me to remove it. I try to praise this um, cover and uh, looks like it's uh, glued pretty well So this is the motor and let's see what the problem is. It smells bad. Okay. Try to show you close up so you can see. So far inside everything looks good. I don't see any damage. Just a little bit dirty for some reason. Something but okay some piece of metal uh oh found some piece of metal inside maybe that's a problem was but so far i don't see any problems inside this one aluminum and i will probably put everything back so I need to make sure the motor itself also okay so far it's good looks good um, I'm not sure what the problem is uh, I will analyze to make sure there's no 
breaking inside and so far Okay, um, as you can see over here, everything looks good. Inside there is a small uh, plate with this computer, the one which uh, monitors the motor and sends the signals. But everything looks good to me. So to be honest, I'm not sure why it was not right. I don't see any damage in it, so I'm gonna put it back and probably need to consult with specialists to see what else can be a problem because I don't see any physical damage and Yeah, there was some metal inside, so I'm gonna remove all these metal pieces, extra, whatever, like I find it right now, and maybe it will work. Uh, that's about it. Um, I have to turn off the camera because it was taking too long to put the rear wheel back. It was really, really hard to put it back and uh, i do not recommend to remove the rear wheel if you don't need to only if you must remove it it's very hard to put it back and uh, looks like the motor was good i didn't see any damages from outside which is good but most likely it might burn inside i couldn't remove the inside where is the wiring it might be damaged from inside that's why it has some smell I went for a ride and the noise, everything, the symptoms they had before I remove it stays there. So nothing happened. So I didn't fix it. Um, I will get back to you guys once I figure out what the issue with the motor. And if it's motor not fixable, most likely I would have to replace whole wheel, uh, controller and display because it's um, very hard hard to find this type of motor which will fit inside the wheel i like this wheel i like all this design it looks really great but if it times to come to replace the motor it's a little bit complicated so that's the only problem but looks like quality as motor inside looks good i don't see any problems um, most likely i think what happened the motor got overheated most likely because it was hot and i was riding so long it might get overheated maybe uh, something burn inside or it might be having some uh, real defect inside um, it need to go through different testing probably to open it more and i was not ready it was getting dark to completely to remove it unplug it and just put it on small parts to do the more testing I want to thank you for watching this video. Once I get more information, I'll make another video and hopefully I can get it fixed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.